Hey everyone, welcome back to Code Instinct. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing glowing or neon button effect using just HTML and CSS. This is a really cool effect you can add to any project, and it's super easy to do. So, stick around and let's dive right into it. But before we get started, I just want to take a quick moment to say a huge thank you to all our amazing supporters on Patreon. Your support helps us keep creating awesome content like this. If you're interested in supporting the channel, check out the link in the description below. Now, let's get into the tutorial. First of all, make sure that you have prepared blank HTML and CSS file into one project folder, as shown in this video. Alright, let's begin with our HTML. The structure is super simple. We're only going to focus on the body tag here, because that's where all the magic happens. Here, we've got a single element button tag with a class called Glow Button. This is the button that we're going to style with our glowing effect. The text inside the button says, Glowing Button, but you can change this to whatever you like. Now, let's move on to the CSS to make this button really shine. Alright. Let's break down the CSS in detail to understand how everything works. First, we start with styling the body element. The goal here is to center the button both horizontally and vertically on the page. So we use Flexbox, the display. Flex is a property that activates Flexbox while justify content. Center to center the content horizontally and A-line items. Center will center it vertically we also set the height to 100vh, which means it will span the full height of the viewport, ensuring perfect centering regardless of screen size. To make the glowing effect stand out, the background color is set to a dark shade using background color. This creates a dramatic contrast between the background and the glowing button. Next. Let's move on to the button itself, which has the class.glow button. We start by setting padding, 15 pixel, 30 pixel, to give the button enough space around the text, making it look balanced and clickable. The text color is set to white color. And we enhance the typography with font size, 18 pixel. Font weight bold for a bold, clear look. To make the button text uppercase for emphasis, we use text transform, uppercase. The button also gets a neat border with a vibrant neon blue color. We round the corners slightly using border radius, 10 pixel, giving the button a polished look. The background color is set to transparent to keep the button minimal and allow the glowing effect to shine. The cursor pointer property changes the mouse pointer to a hand icon when hovered, signaling interactivity. Finally, transition. 0.3 seconds adds a smooth animation effect whenever the button's state changes. And position. Relative combined with overflow, hidden sets up the structure for our glowing effect, which we'll discuss next.
To create the glowing effect, we use the before pseudo element. This is an extra layer that doesn't exist in the HTML, but can be styled with CSS. We define it using content and leave it blank. And then set its position to absolute so that it can sit perfectly on top of the button. Its size is controlled with width, 100% and height, 100% ensuring it fully covers the button. The border radius 10 pixel that matches the button's rounded corners, keeping the glow contained within the button's shape. The magic happens in the background property, where we use a radial gradient. This gradient creates a circular glow effect, starting with a semi-transparent neon blue in the center and fading out to fully transparent on the edges. By default, this glowing effect is invisible because we set opacity to zero. And it's animated with transition, opacity 0.3 seconds. Finally, we define the hover state. When the user hovers over the button, background color will fills the button with neon blue. And the text color flips to the background's dark shade with black color, creating a bold contrast. The glowing effect is enhanced by adding multiple layers of blue light around the button using element box shadow this property applies three distinct glows, each expanding farther from the button to create a dynamic neon effect. At the same time, the before pseudo element becomes visible as we set its opacity to 1, completing the glowing hover animation. And there you have it. This CSS setup brings the button to life with a modern and engaging neon glow effect. Let's see what we've created. When you hover over the button, it lights up with this awesome neon glow effect. It looks great on any dark themed background and really stands out. And that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found this useful and learned something new. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to Code Instinct. Also, 
drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding!